Hi friends, greetings from Dr. M. V. Rao. In one of my earlier videos in this series of sustainable and organic farming, I have discussed about the trap crops that are used in organic farming. In organic farming or non-pesticide management farming, it is always better to avoid insects as much as possible. That shows 50% of their purpose. Since chemicals or pesticides should not be used, we have to use only organic extracts which are totally harmless. But these can be employed after reducing the insect population as much as possible by avoiding techniques. Then what are the avoiding techniques? One is a border crop which is grown around the crop and which is having more of height so that the insects cannot fly to that level and some of the insects will be will not be entering into the field. This I will show separately in another video. The other aspect is the trap crops which I have already discussed in uh, series number 8 of these videos. Today, we will discuss something about the use of sticky boards which are placed inside the farm. These sticky boards attract the insects and they will be having glue on the surface so that the insects will be directly falling on them and they will be getting attached to the board and they get immobilized. The principle is very simple. Just normally we see these insect jappers or flying insects killer that is a high intensity ultraviolet fluorescence bulb which is placed inside the rooms so that the insects get attracted to the color and they go near that and they get killed. In field practices, this is not feasible. So the best way is to place colored boards inside the field in a definite pattern. These are quite safe to use. They are yellow painted or white painted boards and they have simply glue that is at a, I mean uh, rubbed on the surface which is harmless. The insects with their compound eyes, I don't know the principle actually how they get attracted to this uh, yellow boards but we can see in one of the pictures I am going to show you. There are lots of insects they get attracted towards these boards and they get attached to it and immobilized as I have told you already. So this prevents a lot of insects falling on the main crop. Here this is not a very big technology or anything like that to make the boards. Simply take a plywood board or alternately a cardboard, get it painted into yellow color or attach uh, a screen with yellow color or white color and thereafter put a bamboo pole or something like that in the field and attach this board to this bamboo board, bamboo pole. So what happens, it will be hanging. You can attach it with a rope 
a thread or even a wire so that will be very simple and once the insects get attracted towards it they fall on it we have one specific advantage the thing is if you show this uh, insects to an entomologist he'll be able to make out what kind of insects are prevalent here in most of the cases the flying insects come from the neighboring farms say for example in chili crop mostly the insects will be coming from the neighboring uh, either tobacco crop or cotton crop and they'll be coming and falling on it either way some of the insects which we come here will be going there also as well so we'll try to understand we can really understand what kind of insects are prevalent and accordingly the natural extracts can be used to suppress these insects or slow down these insects this is the biggest advantage with uh, sticky pores now I shall show you a picture of how many eggs it has laid on a trap crop leaf, the castor leaf, followed by the yellow boards. I am showing you only yellow boards here. They can be yellow, they can be white boards. Only white and yellow are very much prevalent. And some of these boards are even commercially available. The point to note is these boards after some time have to be removed, taken out and disposed of they cannot be reused because you can't remove the insects from this and a fresh board has always to be placed the forthcoming pictures you will find as to how the boards will be placed and how are they effective we have seen the effect of these boards in chili crops they are helping quite a lot this picture shows a trap crop castor in chili field. This picture shows how the castor leaf has been damaged by insects. Now look at this. So many eggs have been laid on this castor leaf. Had this castor plant not been there, all these eggs might have landed on chili plant. Now coming to the yellow boards, this is a fixed yellow board. That means actually it is fixed to a stand and the same thing is placed inside the soil much above the level of the chili plant. Here comes the second type of the yellow board which hangs on. A branch is taken from a tree and it is planted in the field and uh, the yellow board is fixed onto a thread and the thread is again tied to the branch so as the plant grows you can just pull up the thread more and more it should be higher than the plant level so that the insects will directly fall on that by getting attracted to the yellow color you may see how it's made here We now see here on the yellow board a lot of insects got adhered. The flying insects get attracted to the yellow color and the second key factor is the glue that is applied to the yellow board. Usually grease is applied so that it can stay longer and all the insects get attached and they get totally immobilized. I show here a comparison of the leaf of castor wherein there were a lot of eggs and this particular board where a lot of insects got attached and immobilized. So this way a lot of insects can be avoided from getting onto the plants and this makes 50% of the insect control in organic farming. Thank you.
and kindly subscribe.